welcome back. Um, I've been working on this two-page spread a little bit uh, today, and this is where I'm at so far. I've just gone around the edge of this page with uh, archival ink and cactus flower and used the dauber spreader thingy to blend it out. And then I did the same thing around this page, but using a watering can in the archival ink. So that just kind of brought the designs together a little bit. And then using my Stabilo Brown and Stabilo All Black pencils and a little bit of watercolor, I just worked on her face a bit to bring her features forward. And that's where I'm at. So I'm trying to decide what I want to do next. I think it maybe needs some stamps or maybe a stencil. So I am going to figure out which ones of those I want to use and I'll be back. Oh, and if you hear noise in the background, it's because we had non-stop rain for two days here in northern Ohio and I got water in my basement so I have fans running and so you may hear that in the background because my studio is in the basement. I decided I wanted to push some of these papers and edges to the background before I did anything else so I'm just watering down some white gesso and I'm going to smear that around with a baby wipe here in a second. But I just want to some of this push back a little bit. Well, that was unexpected. I don't hate it, but... That's because I used the watercolor in the background and it's going to reactivate a bit. If I just sprayed it with a fixative before I did this, then that wouldn't have happened. But I don't mind that extra little bit of texture. That's that's all right. I'm getting the same thing, the lifting right there, but I think it just kind of makes the page look a little older and grungier, which is kind of my style anyway, so not a problem for me. I'm going to dry brush some of this gesso over the top of this gauze just to bring out the texture of that a little more. I'm going to go around the outside of that page with a little gesso as well. Kind of thin down just over some of these papers. Have to be careful of the stabilo that I used on her face though because that will definitely smear as will this I used ink tents pencil on her mouth, so that will reactivate too. So just tiptoe around those areas. I just wanted to lighten those papers up a little, 
see what we can do here without smearing things. And just kind of hit the high spots on these deli papers that have the wrinkles on them. I'm going to hit it with the dryer just for a sec. That's dry. Now I'm going to figure out what I want to add. This page has got a lot going on. I probably won't do a whole lot on there, but this this needs something else down in this area and maybe up here, so we'll see what that might be. Okay, I'm back. I think I've decided I'm going to use one of the IOD clear stamps, and these all came in this one package and I think I'm going to try this one for just a light stamping around this page but I don't want it to be real dark so wish me luck and I'm going to use uh, archival ink and coffee if I can get it open so I'm just going to go lightly on here Hopefully I will get kind of a background-ish impression. I just might stamp it off there first. Get some of the ink off of it. Let's see what happens here. Nothing. Okay, I took too much off. Let's try again. I think I can see that there's ink on there. I'm going to go this way. There we go. And then maybe here. That's what I didn't want. I didn't want it to look real stripy. Probably should take it off of this block so that I that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it off. It's a little harder but I can control it a little bit better. So there, see? That's what I'm going for. Like this, where it's not a solid um, image but just kind of there we go. Just kind of hit and miss ish. Just like it used to all be there, but now it's not anymore. And I haven't had to re-ink. Oh, I think I'm going to put that on there, too. I just came across that. Someone gifted me. Thank you, Franny. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Well, you know what? I'm going to put just a little bit on here in this second page, too. Just to kind of to kind of further bring those together a bit. More. need a ton. Just enough to say, hey, we're all in this together. There. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah. Then I think I'm going to put some words down here. And I'm going to glue this down. I put this right there, and all of a sudden, this 
gauze kind of reminded me of a veil, sort of, like a headpiece. Even though I know she already has this on her head. But with just like that, it just seems to be like it's out of place. This seemed to bring things together, at least when I look at it. So anyways, I'm going to put that there. The color's good, and I think that helps that situation. So I'm almost done here. I'm going to add the words. I just have these little stick kind of stamps. So I'm going to pull out what I need and add the words, I think, down in this area. And then I'm going to call it done. So I'm going to do that, and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back, and it's all finished. So I put the stamped the sentiment down here, you are strongest when you are yourself, and then just embellished around that with the, some lines and some dots that I did with my fine liner. And then I added, I glued the little lace piece down and made dots around that whole piece to kind of make it appear as though it is a headpiece and a few little white lines in her hair and on her lips and I say done. So I hope you enjoyed watching this two-part, two-page spread and I will see you next time. Go make some art!